Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set your fully qualified domain name and your host name on Ubuntu. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. And right here, I have an SSH session. I'm logged into a remote IP address right here at the top, and it is a fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04. So let's see what we're working with here. Let's see what our host name is, and that is localhost. How about if we do host name dash dash fully qualified domain name and that is also localhost and finally dns domain name that is nothing blank it's empty so we want to fix that we want to set a, another host name and set a fully qualified domain name and have something be returned for dns domain name um, before we do that let me just show you where does this local host variable come from. If you look at etc hostname, that's where that is defined. And you can honestly just edit that directly to change your hostname, but a better way to do that is to use the hostname ctl command. And without any arguments, that'll give us some more information. Uh, we do see the hostname localhost again, some other information, some IDs, and the version of Ubuntu that we're running 20.04. Um, but if we run hostname ctl with the set set hostname argument, we can give that uh, the the name of our hostname, the intended name of our hostname. So instead of localhost, I want my host name to be server. And you'll see why um, s e r v e r. You'll see why I want that in a second. Um, but just know that this is going to replace localhost with server. So that's good. And now if we run hostname CTL, again, without any arguments, we can see that we have changed localhost to server. And let's look at cat um, etc hostname again, just to see if it changed there as well. And it did, so we no longer see localhost for those values. Um, now, how about our fully qualified domain name? Well, we can change that in etc hosts. And in here, um, again, this is a fresh in install of Ubuntu. Uh, this, uh, this is here by default. So right under that, let's go ahead and add another entry. And what we wanna do here is put the IP address, which you can see up here, 69.164.194.232. We'll tab over. This is where we wanna put the fully qualified domain name. And this is a little bit different than your, your, just your domain name. Um, so for me, what I'm trying to do here is to give my server a fully qualified domain name, whereas the website on here on the server will have a different domain name. So it's basically the website's going to have a domain name and then the fully quali qualified domain name for the entire server is going to be that domain name with server tagged on to the front of it. So what's that look like? It's server, S-E-R, server dot micro dot domains. And... Um, <laughs> If you're not familiar, micro.domains, just think of this as like micro.com or micro.net. .domains is another top level domain name that was fairly recently released to the public. So I own that domain name and I am um, just prepending onto that server. Dot. So server.micro.domains. And then uh, we'll tab over one more time and do server as the host name. So um, basically, here it is your external IP address, if it's static, if it's not static, you can actually put uh, 127.0.1.1 here. Then we have our fully qualified domain name and then our host name separated by tab. So let's go ahead and save that. And now if we look at host name, <clears throat> dash dash fully qualified domain name, FQDN, we will see that we have our server.micro.domains here. And then lastly, last but not least, DNS domain name, we will see our actual domain name micro domain. So um, that's about it for this tutorial. I know there's a, it's slightly complicated, but I hope I did a pretty good job of explaining this concept to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. I got plenty of more tutorials on Ubuntu and server maintenance, all that stuff. So check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.